Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Minister Doc Tucker back at you with a word. Mm. Yes, I said it, a word of encouragement this morning. Father God, we thank you for another wonderful day. Thank you, Father God. Today, this is the beginning of the week. Mm. Thank you, Father God. I'm sitting here with my coffee. Mm. Yes, I got it. Got coffee today. Listening to a prophetic worship by Kyle, by Kyle Lovett. Intercession prayer instrumental. Man, this is the type of song. So it makes an awesome worship song. It's a worship song. It's about three hours long. And it's been praying. It's been praying here for a couple hours in my house. I'll, I'll be up early in the morning. And I'm listening to it. And I'm getting used to listening to it. You know, and then, you know, you got to get used to, you know, you have to set the mood and, and, and set the atmosphere in your house. And right now, I have been setting the, the atmosphere in my house by now, and I'm just listening to this right now. And I thank God for you. I thank God for you this morning. Uh, yes, I thank God for you. I thank God for your support. I thank you for getting smashing like down there on the left and, and subscribing to uh, Minister Doc Tucker on the right and hitting the notification button. I thank you for that. And I also thank you for the support, the, the, the monetary, the financial support as well. I I thank God for you, boy, because I tell you, it's, it's, it's a wonderful thing, and it's allowing me to do more, and I'm getting ready to do more, and I, I got to do more. I can't stand still. You're not, you're not supposed to stand still. Obedience is better than sacrifice. You're not supposed to stand still. So this morning, what are you believing God for the week for you and your family? What are you believing God for? Yes, I need you to get your Bibles and go with me into the book of John chapter 16. Yes, I said John chapter 16. God is so good. Boy, I tell you this morning, I tell you, man, I love him so much. I love him so much. You know, and it's just, boy, and, then, and all we have to do is just stand. You know, you, you you got so many people right now going into a struggle. They, you know, hold on for a minute, uh, Kyle. I'll be back with you in a minute, brother Kyle. I'll be back. I got you got so many people right now going into a struggle. People, you got people, marriages are failing. Yes. People just, it's sad that, 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 that people, marriages are not rooted and grounded in the Lord. Yes. And this is not to beat up or whoop up on anybody because it, it ain't never about that. You got, you got attacks upon people that's, that, 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 that keep placing Jesus on the cross in their life. And then you got people that also allow people to keep placing Jesus on the cross in their life when he's not on the cross. Jesus lives. Jesus lives. When I when I confess Jesus as my Lord and Savior, then everything in my mind, my heart, and to my, my body, everything is healed just like that. But the word tells us that we are all dealt a certain measure of faith. So this morning, I want to ask you, how do you believe? Because I'm believing him for some things beginning to the day, starting today. This is the beginning of the week. I'm believing him for everything I've been praying about. For the, for the whole week, the Holy Spirit been speaking to me about some things about my personal stuff. But, you know, and, 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 and getting in to read, I'm going to start reading and I'm going to start preaching the word straight out of the Bible. The Holy Spirit, God is dealing with me about some stuff today. And he's been dealing with me about some stuff for a minute. But I tell you what, you know, I'm going to say it again. Obedience is better than sacrifice. We have to stand. You have to be able to stand. You can't be listening to anybody but God because most people, I'm going to say now, and I keep saying this, a lot of people will walk around God or jump over God to go to, to go, to go tell their family members or to go in there and ask them for help. The word said, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things shall be added. That's what he said. He also said, delight yourself in the Lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart. I'm not going to anybody but God. I don't look at anybody but God. You know what I'm saying? The Bible says to work out your own salvation in fear and trembling. You know, you got to work it out. The only name the Bible tells us that the only name that you can be saved by is Jesus. It ain't John or Tony or, or Linda. It ain't, it, I'm telling you, you got a lot of people jumping over and walking around God and they calling folks and they, and they going to folk house and don't know what to do instead of getting on your hands and your knees fall on your face that's what i'm doing and i fall on mine you think i won't head first down on the carpet that's what i got to go get it i got to go get it i ain't calling nobody telling nobody about nothing man can't help you do nothing but put problems on top of problems in your life 
And a nine times out of ten, when you're talking to folks, folks ain't praying for you. Even when them folks tell you that they praying for you. Anytime you got somebody say they praying for you all the time and they never pray for you, physically pray for you. Okay, well, hey, I, you know, you got to, you know, you got to wonder. Yeah, I said, I just went on, throw it out. I just threw it on out there. Don't inbox me messing with me and can't on about it. It's just the truth is the truth. And the words that the truth will make you free. Or some person said to set you free, but hey, you know, free, free, free. And this ain't that commercial, free, 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 free. <laughs> it ain't that commercial. This ain't that commercial. You know, so so this is what I'm saying to you this morning. But I just, I'm thanking God for you for being on here, though. I'm thanking God that you're watching this video. And I'm thanking God that you would share this video with somebody that, that need it. We all need some Jesus. If you, you got a lot of people out there that, 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 that will look at you funny when you say that. I need them to live. I need him to live. I thank him for, for blowing breath in my body. Well, I'm able to get out of bed and come and give the word or, or going all through my day and nothing attack my life. Nothing hurts my children. Nothing is hurting my family. You know, we're going to go through, but you know, you don't want to, there's nothing. Everything is okay, you know, and we have, and, and God has equipped us to be able to do everything that we need to do for us and our families. Yes. Prayer changes things. I can be praying right here in my house, praying for somebody over there in Africa and everything in Africa and everything. Well, who I'm praying for in Africa, South Africa, whoever I'm praying for over there in New York or, or in Birmingham, Atlanta, Georgia, my prayer going to move. That's how I feel. That's, that's my faith. All we have to do is stand and just believe. Let me say it to you. You got to be able to stand. Again, the word tells us that we all dealt a certain measure of faith. How do you believe for you and your family for the week? How do you believe? How do you how do how do, how do you believe for you and your family? Man, woo! Boy, that's what I'm talking about. I'm up every and I'm, I'm up in the morning, and I'm thanking God for you. I'm thanking God for just God just being in my life. He goes. Some of us can't go back. Some of us can't go back. Some of we got to go forward. You know. You know, and another thing, pray for your pastors in these churches, pray for these pastors, because a pastor has a, he has a very difficult job and that's leading people to Christ. Pray for that pastor. Cause some of us see things that pastors go through and we just, oh, he'll pastor, he'll pray about it. You pray for your pastor, you know, pray for me. Yes. I need prayer. When you pray, when you pray for a lot of people and pray, for, it get the work gets heavy. The work, everything gets heavy, really heavy, really heavy. Pray for me as I pray for you. Pray for me and pray for me as I give the word, because this word is going to come strictly out of this book. This word is going to come strictly out of this book. It ain't going to come. It ain't going to come out of the book. It ain't going to come out of nowhere. It ain't going to come from nowhere else. You got people preaching about all kind of stuff in church and everything else, and they have allowed the enemy to get in the church. That's why I said, if you want to get the word of God, I'm talking. I'm gonna give you the word of God. I'm gonna give you what God, what what, what uh, God give me, and I want you to share this word because you might feel like that you got the word and you feel this in your heart. I want you to share it with somebody else. I want somebody else to get this word because there's somebody in this world going through something. You may be strong enough, but the Holy Spirit will put it in you to share this word. Again, obedience is better than sacrifice. You know, a lot of times that I, I be listening to certain stuff that people give me and I always send it out. I'm going to send it out because I, 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 you know, it, it might be something that it might help somebody. It might be able to speak it to somebody else's spirit. Sometimes people going through something that you don't even know they're going through. You may be talking to them every day. They might not trust you enough to, to tell you, you know what I'm saying? But they, but, but, but they got, but it is what it is. That's why I said, because there's so many people going through, there's so many people going through. Hmm. So many people going through and the word said, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things shall be added. You don't give it to anybody. That's why I keep saying don't give it to anybody. 
people wondering why everything failing in their life because a lot of times people don't have a relationship with Jesus. I want you to have that relationship with Jesus. I'm talking about the words that cast your burdens upon the Lord and he shall sustain you. That's what I'm talking about. Pray for God's will for you and your family, for your life. You know, men of man of God, pray for you and your family. Woman of God, pray for you and your family. Pray for your husband. Pray for you and your family. That's what I'm talking about. God is listening. What are you believing him? What are you believing God for the beginning of the week? What are you believing the Lord our God for the beginning of the week? John chapter 16, verse 33. And it reads, these things I have spoken to you. He's already said it to you. That in me, you may have peace. That's why I continue to say to people, pray for that peace that surpasses all understanding. That when the enemy comes in as a flood, then God would raise the standard in your life. Things will be falling down, tearing up, burning up, people shooting and everything around you. But you have the peace of God on your life. Hallelujah. That's what I'm talking about. And I keep saying it and people just... And people just jumping over and they're going to different folks. They ain't praying to God about nothing. They just doing their little everyday thing. Then some get their life. They, oh my God, no. Pray for that peace that surpass all understanding. In the world, the in the world, you will have tribulation. See, when you receive Jesus Christ, he said that it, 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 he never said that you wouldn't have tribulation, that you wouldn't go through any trial or tribulation. But then this is what you need to get. It says, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Mm. Mm, look at that. 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 Okay. So he, he, Jesus said he has overcome the world, right? I want you to, I want you to get this. I want you to get this thing. I want you to get this. I want you to go with me into the book of first John four and four. You know, you know what it is. Y'all know where I'm going with this. You know where I'm going. Jesus said he had, he said he have overcome the world. Let me ask you a question. Do you got Jesus in your life? Is he your Lord and Savior? Listen to what I'm finna say to you. I'm actually getting excited, boy. Oh, Lord. Woo. Mm, that cough ain't good no more. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Holy Ghost. And it said, 1 John 4 and 4, you are of God. You are of God. Now, see, now that's what I'm saying to you. And he said, little children and have overcome them because he who is in in you is greater than he that is in the world. So I'm going to tell you what I always say. I said, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Because the Holy Ghost rests in me. The Holy Spirit rests inside of me. Jesus rests on inside of me. And I tell people, you know, the words that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. So was Jesus. So, was, so am I. So is Jesus. So are you. Hey. That's something to get excited about. That's something to get excited about. For me, that's that's the only thing that I know in my life from where I come from and what I've been through. And I'm excited about that. I'm excited. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. And then he turned around and he said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Mm. Mm. Stand. Stand. What you're bending over for? What you're leaning over to the side for? What you're sleeping for all the time? What you're running your mouth about crazy stuff all the time? Stand. Jesus said, have peaceful. He have overcome the world. First John 1 and 4, 1, 4, 4 1 John 4 and 4. <laughs> Greater is he that is in me than he that is in a man. I'm talking about all we got to do is stand. All we got to do is stand. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. All we got to do is stand. And you got people folding up like, you got, you know, have you seen a bag that's wet at the bottom? Of it? And you look through the bag, you drop, drop something in the bag, got a hole in it. You just, everything's just falling through. You know, things just falling through. You know, see, the Bible says that one, and Bible, the Bible tells that one and calm before destruction, okay? Let me say it to you again. Warning and calm before destruction. So even in your marriage, yeah, even in your marriage, when you see trouble arising, because see, you're going to see, you will see it because the Bible said, let me say it again. Warning and calm before destruction. You need to be praying about that thing and, and asking God to reveal to you about what's going on or what's happening. Because sometimes a separation takes place. 
and you had to ask, get in there and ask God why, and God will show you why. Then you get in there, and you start praying about a thing. You don't let people in your circle like that. You don't let people in your in your marriage because people people get jealous of you, and they go to, whoo, boy, you know, he he a handsome man. He doing all he can. He doing this for her and doing man. Or she a a pretty woman. She a nice one, man. Folk don't folk be praying against you. Yes. And to me, it's sad because the Bible talks about the body of Christ. And it kind of makes you wonder who's part of the body of Christ. Because when you look at people, you know, be because when you look at people, but we but we're not gonna focus on that. We're gonna focus on we no no we're gonna focus on have peace. For I have overcome the world. <clears throat> so is Jesus, so is I. Mm, so was Jesus, so was I. Mm. Mm, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. So was Jesus, so am I. Mm, come on, Holy Ghost. See, people don't, people, 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 I want you to feel this thing. I want you to feel this thing because I can't go back. I can't go back. That song says, I can't go back. I won't go, I can't go back. Yeah. Because I know that if I step back out into the world, I know my life is over with. I know for a fact that I would die. Do you feel that way? But then what I want to tell you is that when you when you're standing, when you're standing, I want you to remember something that the battle of the Lord, that that is the that, the, the, the battle is the Lord. Mm. The battle is the Lord's. All you got to do is stand. All you got to do is stand. Just stand there. All you got to do is stand. Keep praying for you and your family and keep pressing on. Keep pressing on. Remember now, you you strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. All you got to do is stand. You know, the Bible tells us to keep asking, keep seeking, and keep knocking. What are you praying about for this week? What are you believing God for this week? Keep asking, keep seeking, and keep knocking. Come on now, Holy Ghost. That's what I, that's what I want to talk to you about. Because a lot of people have so much going on in their life. And life, and people, and I can understand life. People have so much life going on, and they forgive about, and and, and then and uh, they forget about God. I'm not gonna ever tell you that there are any power greater than God. I'm not gonna tell you that, but God created the heavens and the earth. There's no power greater than the power of God in your life. No power greater than the power of God in your life. And the only way that you can give the enemy power over your life if you just give it to him. That's the only way the enemy is powerful in your life is when you give it to him. He gonna attack you in them ways that you thinking. Well, you know, uh, this and that. He gonna, something gonna always be looking. It's gonna some always gonna be right there in your face, right there. You rebuke that mess and you go head on, and you place your hands in Jesus' hand. The word tells you again. The words that cast your burdens upon the Lord and He shall sustain you. That's what He said in the word. Pray for God's will for you and your family. That's what I'm talking about. We in the scratch. We in the war. We in the battle for our lives. You are in the battle for your lives, for you and your children. That's why a lot of things going on where you got all these shootings going on. You got all this stuff. You got all this stuff going on in the world. What have you? You got to be able to stand. Today, if you hear his voice, not to harden your heart in rebellion, you got to stand. You got to stand. I'm to my, are you going to continue to give the enemy power into your life? Confess Jesus Christ in the in today and be saved. Confess Jesus. Confess Jesus today. I'm not going to tell you that, that it's going to be all good, all gravy, all this. And that. Hey, hey, no, it ain't going to be like that. Excuse me, because he, he said it in the word. I'm going to say it again. He said that you will have trials and tribulation. Yeah. You think don't nothing attack my life? <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? You think people don't say stuff to me? Bible said, be Christ-like. You know, it ain't back in the day when they say something to you, make you want to go upside the head. Yeah, I said it, make you come, you know, it ain't like that no more. You can't, you know, God, I want you jumping on folk. <laughs> God, I want you to shoot the thing up under me and all that, you know, you know all, he don't want you doing all that. You don't, you don't do that, but all you got to do is stand. All you got to do is stand. Man, I, I give God everything today. And I want you to give him everything. I give him everything, everything. Every, every day I give him everything. I give him everything in my life, you know. 
and I am content where I am until he moved me. Mm, yes, I'm being transparent. I'm, I'm content in my life where I'm at until he moved me. Until he get ready for me to be somewhere else, then he'll move me. He got to do it. That's when you give everything to him. That's I keep saying about the relationship. I keep talking about the relationship. I I, I, I keep talking about the, 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 the confessing Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Because it's a lot of people that have doors that have been opened in their lives. And they just forgot about things and just don't repent it and, and ask God to, to, to reveal those things to you so you can ask for forgiveness about these things. Ask God to forgive you of, of your, because when you got things open, you have, you may have trespassed against God. You might have the, 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 the Lord our God. Yes. I'm saying it to you. Well, I don't think I did. That. Oh, okay. Well, you keep living the way you live. But for the people that's listening to me this 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 early this Sunday morning, beginning of the week, ask God to show you where you've trespassed. And you know what I'm saying? Where you've trespassed against him. You know, you can be prideful if you want to. If you're prideful, you will still be in the same situation you in. It won't even, it won't even matter. You'll be still, but I ain't did nothing. Yeah. I hear from God. But I'm gonna tell you something. I don't have a burning bush in my bedroom. I don't hear from God like that. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that lie. I don't have a burning bush in my bedroom, but I know how to get down on my hands and knees and say, Lord, please forgive me. If there's anything that I trespass against you, Lord, please set me free. Lord, please forgive me and set me free. Take care of my family. Take care of my children. Take care of them, Lord. That's what I pray about. I ask God to watch over me and my family. Yes, the Tucker family. I ask God to watch over them. We need Jesus. I don't care. I don't care what you say about you and your family. I know my family. I know we need him. And I pray for mine. I'm to my and I'm calling you out to pray for yours. I'm, I'm calling you out just to, to ask God whatever you got in your life today, why you have time, why he is near to call to, to, to tell him, Lord, what have I done? He'll he'll hear and he will reveal it to you. Confess Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior for why you have time. Why, why, why he's still near. There is a place called hell. There is a place that and it is called hell. All through this book, all through this Bible that I've been reading this Bible, I'm going to tell you something. It's going to, man, it's, it's a lot. You have people that have led people astray. You have people that have worshipped money, silver and gold in the Bible. You have people that worship, uh, people have led other people astray. People have sold their souls to the to, to, to the devil for, for a swag or whatever. It's, it's, it's even in the word. In the book of in the book of Ecclesiastes, he said, nothing under the sun is new. And you got people that's dying every single day and going to hell. Yeah, I said it, they're going to hell. Hell is a place. We talking about eternal damnation, torture. We talking about hellfire. We talking, it is a place. Do you want to go? I don't want to be there. Goodbye. I won't see you there. I guarantee you that. What I'm saying to you today, the battle is the Lord's. Go to him today. I want you to have that peace that when you're in your house and you can put, we can put some music on. Man, that's one thing God has given me that peace. I don't have people calling my house and, and acting crazy like they normally they used to call my house and act crazy. I don't have people saying all kind of stuff to me. And even when they do, I, you know, then the Bible talks about then when, when you say something to me out the way, I'm going to go in there and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to get from around you and I'm going to go pray about it. Father God, look what they said about me. Look what they did about me. Look, Father God, they think that I, I don't see them, you know, and, I, and I'm going to give it to them and I'm going to go ahead on about my business. Yeah. This week, what are you believing God for? What are you believing God for this week? This is Sunday, the beginning of the week. I ask this question every week. What are you believing God for? And I understand, again, the Bible said that we all dealt a certain measure of faith. What are you believing God for? Do you hear God talking to you this morning? Do you hear him speaking into your heart? He's talking to you. He's, don't kick against him. Don't kick against him. Don't kick against him. Hmm. He's talking to you. Most folks, and I hear people say, man, you know, I don't fool with God, man. I'm going to go my drink on. 
get my smoke on. I'm going to do everything I need. I'm going to do everything I want to do. Then when I get ready for God, then I'm going to go get me some God and you die and go straight to hell. You will die and go straight to hell. Yes, you will. I said you will die and go straight to hell. Because when your eyes close and in, in the midst of all this stuff going on, and because I'm going to tell you something, when people going through something that they don't know what's going on, and, and, and it's going to come just like that. It's going to come like a blink of an eye. I want you to choose Jesus today. You need him as a Lord and say, you might feel like that you got it going on. You got all these housing cars and money. You got women and you got men. You got everything in the world, boy. Boy, you don't need Jesus, boy. You you getting down, boy. You don't even need Jesus. Oh, yeah, the preacher can dance. Yeah, but you know, we don't do it no more. But you know, you don't need Jesus. <laughs> you don't need Jesus. And then, and then and they said, well, I'm going, man, I'm going I'm to be doing this, man. I'm going to be doing that, man. And then you, and you die that night, you go straight to hell. Mm-hmm. You go straight to hell. People don't understand. I do the best I can. I do the best I can to give you what God give me. You know, I want you to be saved because I love you. Yes, I love you. I don't you know, God, God, that's why he sent Jesus. He loved you enough to send his own begotten son. He don't want you to go to hell and that. He don't, he don't want you to suffer like that. But a lot of people don't believe. As they say, or the older folks, they say, when I was coming along, they don't believe fat meat grease. Okay, all right, I can't go with you. I ain't going, uh-uh. You go, you want to go, you don't want to believe? Then don't believe. You can't show me nowhere in this Bible that, that God forced, or Jesus forced anybody to, to worship him. You, you won't find it in there. This is free will. I want you to come be a kingdom kid with me. I want to, we kingdom kids. I want you to come be a kingdom kid with me. I want you to know God speaking about God. God will start, God will start speaking to you about great and mighty. People be wanting to know what they calling is when you confess Jesus Christ as your calling. And then, and then you go be baptized. When you come up out of that water, then it's time to what? Then it's time to go now. It's time to go. And as you walk, and as you walk, God will be moving that stuff. You know how people be moving stuff out of the way like that? As you walk in God to be moving stuff like this all out your way, he be putting stuff in front of you. You be reading it, and then you'll get on fire for this word. You be reading this word so much, and then he'll be telling you, then he put all this stuff, he be pouring on the inside of you. He be pouring stuff on the inside of you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If he can turn water into wine, you think he can't pour it into you? Come on now, Holy Ghost. So that's what I'm saying. Today is today if you hear his voice, not to harden your heart in rebellion. All you got to do is say, yes, Lord. All you got to do is say, yes, Lord. Lord, I receive you as Lord and Savior in my life. That's all you got to do. Ain't none of us worth nothing. If 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 God would, if, if Yahweh wouldn't have never sent Jesus, if God wouldn't have never sent Jesus, everybody would go to hell. I don't care what you got. Everybody was burning up. Everybody was going. And I thank God for Jesus. And you ought to, you ought to be doing the same thing. Hmm. Hmm. But I tell you this, if you hear his voice, not to harden your heart in rebellion, mm, don't kick against him. Take him into your heart. Faith comes by faith, faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of God. Let me say it to you again. Faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of God in your heart. Yes. If you hear him, don't kick against him. Because if you're abiding in him, he's abiding in you. Yes, if you ain't abiding in him, he's not going to abide in you. That's just point blank. You know, we can stand. Stand. Mm. Stand. Oh, man, okay. clear your mind and your heart. Clear your mind and your heart. Father God, we come back before you this morning, Father God, and just thanking you for your wonderful grace and mercy and repenting for our sins, for words, thought, or deed, Father God. We thank you, Father God. Mm. Father God, we thank you, Father God. Father God, now if the person that's watching this video right now, Father God, I apply the blood of Jesus over them. I'm sealing them in the blood of Jesus, and I'm applying the arm of God over them and their families, Father God. Mentally, physically, socially, spiritually, and financially. For every situation, every circumstance, every need, and every area in their lives, I apply the blood of Jesus over their lives, Father God. Father God, I speak overflowing of blessings in their lives, Father God, overflowing and overflowing and overflowing in the name of Jesus. Thank you for opening up the windows and the doors of heaven and pouring down those blessings upon them that they won't even have room enough to receive. 
Thank you for opening doors that no one could close and closing those doors that no one can open, Father God. We thank you, Father God, and whatever done in secret, Father God, reveal it to us and us only, Father God. Father God, we thank you, Father God, even in the midst of the storm, Father God, even in the midst of everyday life, Father God, even in the midst of COVID-19 and the Delta variants, Father God, and the vaccine, the mountain, the, the vaccine mandates and Father God and scare tactics, Father God, and, and just all, all kind of things that's going on in our life, Father God, in the midst of the storm, Father God, you are still God, Father God, you are still our God. And the Bible tells us in the beginning, you created the heavens and the earth, Father God. We thank you for another wonderful day, Father God, of benefits, Father God. Provisions for us and our families, Father God. We thank you for the week, Father God, of everything that you're going to do for us this week, Father God. We thank you, Father God, because we know that you're listening, Father God. The word said that whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, Father God. But we got to go a little bit further. She'll be delivered, Father God. She'll be healed and delivered. She'll have grace and mercy, Father God. Peace and rest and comfort, Father God. Peace and, Father God, and, and, and protection, Father God, for everything that we're going to need, Father God, for this week, Father God. We know you got it, Father God. Father God, this morning, Father God, we... We'll be casting our burdens upon the Lord, Father God, for the whole week, Father God. Because the Bible says that he shall sustain us, Father God. We thank you, Father God. And we're going to continue to pray, Father God, for your will in our lives, Father God. Mm. Because the word said that, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things shall be added. Thank you, Father God. Your word said, delight yourself in the Lord and he shall give you the desires of your life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father. Mm. We thank you, Father God, for the week, Father God. We praying for the week, Father God, starting today for the week, Father God. And as we begin to pray for this whole week in our families, Father God, and everything that's going on, Father God, we thank you, Father God, in advance, Father God. Mm. We thank you, Father God, for advance, Father, in advance, Father God. Mm. I thank you for my life, Father God. And how I love the person that's watching this video so much, Father God, that I'm praying for them this whole week, Father God, that you would bless them with their heart's desire, that you would give them their heart's desire, Father God, as they place their hands in your hands, Father God. Even those watching this video, Father God, they don't even know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, Father God, that's right now that's listening, Father God, that Jesus is calling their name, Father God. I, I ask you, Father God, to Father God, and I, and I ask them to, to surrender. To surrender to Jesus. To surrender to Jesus. To surrender to Jesus. There's nothing else but Jesus. There's nothing else but Jesus. And as the person watching this video right now, and they don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, today is today. Today is today. All you have to do is say, Lord, I surrender. I don't want to live this way I want. I don't want to live like this no more. I don't want to go to hell. I don't want to die and go to hell. I want to serve you. Father God, I invite Jesus Christ into my heart this morning. Into my mind, my heart, and my spirit, and my soul. I, and, but I know that I'm not worthy. I know that I'm not worthy. Know that I'm not worthy. Father God, save me. And we know, Father God, whoo, Father God, we know you will. Today, Father God, today they listening, Father God, if that person is watching this video, receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior before it's too late. Why you still have time, why he is near, time is winding down. And again, I love you and I'm praying for you. And everybody else is watching this video. And I thank God for you. Father God, we thank you, Father God. For all answered prayers during the week, Father God. You know, and the Bible tells us you know what is needed before we ask. And while we're asking, you have already answered. We know that, Father God. So we're just going to continue to pray for your will in our lives, Father God. And continue to place our hands in Jesus' hands, Father God. We thank you, Father God, in Jesus' mighty name that, that we pray. In Jesus' mighty name. Um, today, man, I, hey, you know, stand. Stand. 
stand. Battle is the Lord. All you got to do is stand. Whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. In whatever situation you call upon the Lord upon. All you have to do is stand. I'm praying for you. Thank you, Father God. Share this video. The Holy Spirit being be led by the Holy Spirit. Share this video. If somebody need to see this video, somebody need to, somebody need to know. Somebody need to know. Somebody need to know. Share this video. I'm praying for you. Pray for me as I pray for you. And if this video has blessed you and uh, uh, if this video has blessed you and uh, uh, whew, hit like down there where, where the video can, and they can share it more and then even on the and then smash like or subscribe and hit the notification if you if you want to subscribe to Minister Doc Tucker. Share this video. Share this video. Share this video. Like I said, I thank you for your support. I thank you for your donations. I thank you for everything that you do. I thank you for everything that you do. And today, continue to, to apply the blood of Jesus over you and your family. <clears throat> Seal you and your family in the blood of Jesus. And continue to apply the blood of Jesus over you and your family. Continue to keep your hands in Jesus' hands. God loves you. Yes, God loves you. So do I. God bless you and your family in the wonderful and holy and mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, and amen.